Hey Kiko here, this video is about the solo from the song Killing Time from the album The Sick, The Dying and The Dead from Megadeth. On my previous video I was showing the riff from this song and also the stories behind the creation of this riff. So some people were asking me to show the solo, so here I am. It's a short solo and then I could say we can divide the solo into five parts. And the most important thing when you learn a solo, not only to have fun playing the solo but also to, uh, the most important thing is to steal the ideas, you steal the licks, uh, try to learn the licks, the phrasing, the, the patterns, the motifs, the melodic lines, and try to apply it into your own songs. So that's the most important thing when you learn a lick, a phrase, try to play the same phrases um, in other keys, in other situations, so see if you can apply those ideas into, other, into your own songs, right? <laughs> The solo starts with a sequence of triads with a little motif, um, adding some other two notes um, to the triad. And something that I, that I remember, I had a song that I never recorded that had the same motif, so I just, it just came to my mind that, that the moment of the recording then I just played it and I thought, well, it fits. So that's the way I started the solo. And uh, a lot of people ask me, so how do you create your solos? So my answer is like, I improvise the solos Basically, I just play over and over and over, you know, just ask the producer or just sit at home and play many times and just figure out some licks, some phrases, some, some ways I can play and then I, I, let, I let it flow somehow, you know, but I tend to try to define the beginning of the solo, the intro of the solo. In this case was this arpeggio sequence, right? So after that, I play some more aggressive notes, I would say, some bends, so it creates some contrast with the technical part of the arpeggios, right? I don't think, I don't plan that, but that's the way we normally communicate with people, you know, uh, I would say, right? So, uh, so it creating contrast, you know, to grab attention. So arpeggios, bends, then after that, I play a, a, pat a pentatonic pattern, then one of the first pentatonic patterns that I learned on guitar, so I still play this pattern, I love this pattern, so you probably will find this pattern in many of my solos. Um, so I'm just playing the E minor pentatonic. It fits nicely, and uh, it fits nicely to the Megadeth solos that's using a lot of pentatonics. So for the F sharp, I play a pentatonic, a major pentatonic, and then the B major arpeggio, diminished arpeggio. And that's it, so at the very end I play like more again the aggressive notes and double stops so you have this uh, contrast of arpeggios aggressiveness or bends you know make trying to make the guitar scream somehow and then like a nice uh, perfect pattern uh, E minor pattern the arpeggios again and then more violent way of playing the single notes or double stops so those are the ideas behind the solo is a short solo a little bit technical but not super fast so I think you can, you know, play slowly and get there easily and steal the licks, as I said. And uh, have a great day. Subscribe to the channel, leave your comments, and see you in the next video.
Thank you.